Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, we have seen conceptually how we can actually uh, declare and define array. Now in this particular program, we are going to see one small program on one dimensional array. So let's see a demo of array. Okay, here I'm having one program which uh, demonstrate use of one dimensional array. Okay, so here I'm having a class array demo one. Uh, I'm having main method. Here I have declared one integer array. Okay, this is a declaration portion. Okay, so what happens in this line? It, the one reference will get created, and the, that reference is with named with the an array okay now after that you have initialized the array okay so what I have done here is in array is equals to new in 10 so what you have done you have given some memory uh, you have created uh, array with the size of 10 so it can hold 10 integer values okay now array is created size is given okay I have to give some values to it so either you can uh, do this by initializing in the same line or you can do it explicitly that means okay the first thing you have to keep in the mind that when I'm executing this statement new in 10 what is going to happen it will going to create a space in for the 10 element in that particular memory and all these 10 memory locations are being uh, are going to be initialized to its uh, default values so default value for integer is what zero right so declaration is done first on this line and then you have just uh, defined the array and initialize it to the default values now explicitly if I want to give a different values then you can do so by using this statement. So what this statement says an array the 0th indexed element should be assigned with a value 100. Likewise I am assigning the value still index 9. Now you know that the value of I mean the size of array is 10 that's why the last L index over here will be 9 because array index starts with 0 right and then i want to print the each and every element from the array so how you can do that in sysout statement i have just written array name and then you have to give the index in the square bracket okay so this is the way you can assign values to the one dimensional array and you can able to print or use those values using sysout statements okay so let's try to compile this compiled let's execute it it's any mistake So what it has printed 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay now so here I have compiled it let's execute it So it is printing elements starting with 0 till 9 and with its values. Okay, so this is a simple demo of a uh, one dimensional array. Now we will see another demo where we can do a job, this job of getting the values and then printing the values by using for loop. Because I would say that loops are doing job of what some some task if i want to repeat again and again then i can you make use of loops okay so here 
I'm assigning some values starting with the zero index till particular uh, some index. I'm assigning the value into the array. So this is a repetitive task. I'm taking zero index, assigning the value. Then I'm taking first index, then assigning the value, then second index, and then assigning the value. So this repetitive task I can uh, do by making use of loops. Similarly, I want to print the elements of array. So again, that is a repetitive task. So I can make use of uh, loops for doing this particular thing. So basically, uh, you can see uh, practically, actually, these loops are being extensively used with the arrays.